Hi, this is PDF Bergsberg Arcade at bergsbergarcade.com and this is tutorial 164 or part 6 of the changing room. So let's go ahead and open up Unity. Okay, today I want to look at one of our models here. Uh, sometimes uh, when you import a model, uh, you'll have one mesh that has a lot of different materials attached to it. And I wanted to go over uh, how to change some of these materials. Now you notice these materials, uh, one is for my boots, uh, one is for my pants, one is for my upper body armor, uh, one is for my hands, and the last one's for my face. Now all these materials I want to be able to change if I have extra materials to change them with. And today I want to go through that and we're going to change the armor on a character. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into my character asset manager and let's open up that script. Now I've gone ahead and created another game object array for the torso materials and I've already gone ahead and actually added them since there were so many. And I've just gone ahead and dragged the new materials on here. And of course let's go look at one of the materials. Uh, it's just a basic material. Uh, the, just like any other material you have attached to a mesh. And of course the shader that's attached to this one just happens to be a diffuse shader. So, uh, they don't all have to be diffused. If we go look at this one here, you'll notice it's a specular shader. But I went ahead and attached all my materials to it. And these materials are all for my upper body armor. And while I'm here, let's take a look and let's add the rest of the arrays we're going to need. Uh, we're going to need one for pants. And I've already gone ahead and done that for my leg materials. Uh, next, I'm going to want one for, um, let's see, I've got the body, I want feet. So I'm actually just going to cut and paste this. And I'll just change the name. And after feet, I'm going to want hands and head. So I'll go ahead and just put these down here. hands and head. I'm actually going to change head to face since it's a little more descriptive of what that material hold, holds for me. And save it off. We'll come back in. I'll click on Asset Manager. And after it's done recompiling, this should appear. Now I'm only going to be working with the torso one today. So let's go ahead and open up our base character class. I'm just going to shrink these down. I'll shrink down the prefabs. I'm actually going to get rid of my muscular male model in my scene. I'll open up my character class and double click the base character. As you see, I've already gone ahead and exposed a public game object uh, for the armor mesh. And I guess I should have left that uh, model in. All I'm holding is a reference to the mesh that actually holds the all the materials, or at least the renderer. Uh, sometimes you have renderer if it's animated you're gonna have a, a mesh, skin mesh renderer and all I've done is expose the variable and then just take the muscle part which is the one that holds the materials and just drag it on and I've also gone ahead and done that with the fat model as you can see it's the fat so I'll go ahead and delete these guys well, I'm actually just going to leave one there because I might need it again and I'll just deactivate it. I'll head back into Mono Develop and I'm actually going to change the name of the variable because when I was first playing around with it, I assumed all of those materials were for armor and quite a few of them aren't. So I'm going to change it to character, material, mesh. And I'll head back into Unity and I'll probably have to reassign them as I've changed the variable name. So let's get both prefabs back in. And I'll just start with the mus muscular one and he needs to be reassigned so I'll just drag that in. I'll hit apply and now if we look at the prefab it's assigned 
And if we look at the fat male, nothing's assigned on the prefab. So we'll just come in and assign it. And select, make sure we have the root selected. Hit apply. Look at the prefab. It's reassigned. So I'll just go ahead and deactivate both of those guys again. And we'll grab the fat male. And one thing I wanted to point out about these areas I'm creating, uh, make the basic or the, the default material that you want your character to have. So for instance, if uh, your character has no armor on, let's say um, they're stripped down to, you know, bare chest and a loincloth. Uh, for my upper body, I'd obviously want to have the bare chest material first. And then for the lower part of the body, which would be in the leg material, I'd put the loincloth. So we'll just close that down. And before we go any further, I wanted to introduce you to a script off the wiki uh, that I find very useful. And let me just go ahead and open up my scripts. It's the detect Le leak script. So we'll open it up. It's not very long. It just creates a GUI on the screen for you to see uh, how many of each item you have so it'll tell you you know how many textures you have how many audio clips uh, and so on and you can get this script at the unifycommunity.com wiki and I'll post a link down in the little doobly doo below us and all you have to do is basically just follow the directions you're going to create a new script called detectleaks.cs and just cut and paste this whole thing in I'm going to go back into unity and I'll show you how I have it set up I've gone ahead and just dragged on to the main camera and when you start it up you'll get this display at the side I've gone to full screen just so I can see it a bit better now it tells me how many of everything I have and it'll also tell me how many textures I have audio clips meshes of materials game objects and components uh, if we start switching our body size uh, take a look at the components and game objects so we go it went up by one for the game objects and two by components and if we keep going, we notice that those keep going up as we switch. And that's because we have a little error in our script for switching the game objects for our, our body type. So let's go into Mono Develop. And actually, it's in our Changing Room script. So I'm going to click the char character mount because that's where we have it attached. And I'll just open up the character or Changing Room script. I'm going to come down to the bottom here. And it's right here where we're destroying. If we take a look at uh, transform.getChildCNT, and if you hover over it, you notice that it returns a transform. What we actually want to destroy is the whole game object. So just put a dot game object on the end. And since I'm in here, I'm going to check the weapons too. Uh, the weapons was fine. We actually remember to put the game object at the end. Well, at least I remembered there. So we'll go ahead. We're going to go back in. We'll start it back up. And now when we switch meshes, we shouldn't get the extra game object and the extra components added. So if we keep going, there we go. Now I've still not figured out why our weapon flashes. Uh, since it's only going to be happening during the character generation scene, I'm not too worried about it just yet. As in the actual game, they won't be able to change their body type. But let's just stop that down. And I'm going to go back to my character asset manager and I'm going to open up uh, legs next. And I'm going to actually go ahead and start putting all of my materials in there. Uh, so let me see, how many do I have? Uh, looks like 24 of those. Okay, well, I'll just, I'll just start adding all these in. And of course, make sure you start off with uh, the default that you want your character to have being zero. Uh, the rest of the order really doesn't matter too much. So I'm going to increase this to 24. And just start clicking and dragging. And we're working on legs, which here is called pants. And I've already got five, so we're on to six. Now, as exciting as this might be, I'm actually going to pause the video uh, while I go ahead and fill these out. 
And I'm actually going to go ahead and do my feet as well, which also seem to go to 24. And I'll do my hands, which go to 24, I believe. Yes. And the head goes to 24 as well, because there's eight different types by three types per, or three subtypes, so that's 24 as well. But I'm gonna finish this off and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.